Hello everyone, this is Impulse, and welcome back to the Hermitcraft server. How are you guys doing today? Guys, I, I am, I'm a little stressed today, to be honest. I, I am preparing to go out of town for an entire week on a business trip, and I'm not going to be able to record videos. I doubt I'll even get to play any Minecraft, we'll see. But I'm gonna be I'm gonna be out of town, like I said, and so I've been just trying to get videos prepared to uh, schedule ahead of time and that kind of thing. And I'm not used to doing that. I'm not used to like mass producing videos ahead of time. But uh, it's been fun. It's been fun. So one thing I am gonna have to change though, because I'm actually running out of time. I literally leave in like three hours from now, and I gotta record this episode, get it edited, rendered, uploaded. All in the next three hours, so it's gonna be a time crunch. But um, I still want to uh, to get some things done while we have time. And I was looking at this, and you guys saw last episode. I indicated that uh, I didn't like this bridge. This is the bridge that goes out to the tree farm, and I was gonna AFK. My my plans were this: I was gonna actually AFK a whole bunch at the tree farm, and and you know deliver some wood, start setting up a business with a whole bunch of stockpile of wood. But um, that, I just didn't have the time. I didn't have the time to AFK. I didn't have the time to collect bone meal, um, all that sort of thing between episodes because I'm pretty much having to record these almost back to back and uh, you know schedule ahead of time for when I'm out. So instead, what I want to do is I know I'm going to be making a lot of trips along this bridge, uh, getting bone meal and bringing it back and that sort of thing. Getting Well, go, going here, get bone meal on like Mumbo's farm and uh, King Daddy D-Max has a skelly farm I get bones from. So... I was gonna be basically be making ton of trips for bone meal, and you can you can you can go. Oh, okay, keep walking, keep walking. <laughs> but yeah, this bridge is not safe, so I don't want to do that anymore on an unsafe and kind of slow path. Uh, I want to make this thing safe, and I want to speed things up a little bit. So we're gonna be working on that today, and maybe doing a little bit of a chatty chat session with you guys. I, I you guys have probably noticed a lot of things over the past episodes that I, I literally just don't even talk about. I get so busy and wrapped up in like the project that I never stop to actually talk to you guys and tell you you know some of the things that are actually going on. And so I want to do that today, and you can probably see, I just hit F3 to bring up the coordinates, but you probably noticed something else. Hang on, I gotta check this coordinate here. I need to be at 65, okay. Um, you guys that are, are real uh, <laughs> cognizant or, or aware of your surroundings and things that change probably know that uh, my, my PC specs are different. I have a, a new i7 4790K processor in my system. I have a GTX 980 graphics card. Am I going to fall off this? Oh, I'm so scared. <laughs> I have my fire resistance on my hotbar just in case I fall. But uh, yeah, you guys probably noticed that I had PC upgrades done, and, and that meant, oh man, that meant uh, a lot of work too. Uh, I had to basically reload my entire operating system, I'm actually running Windows 8 for the first time now, and uh, like it or not, it's, it's, I, I think it's just a matter of getting used to it, but it's been okay, it's been okay. Um, and part of the reason why I did the upgrade was I was getting crashes. I was getting, like, in the middle of recording, in the middle of streaming, and in the middle of just playing Minecraft, my, my game would crash, and it would be like an open GL driver error. And uh, I know DocM had the same exact problem, and he basically just downgraded his NVIDIA driver. And this is back when I was running a GTX 580. And so I was like, I downgraded the driver to exactly what he did. It was like 347 something or other. And I was still getting the crashes. And so I downgraded it even further. And I was still getting the crashes. And so I thought about it. And, and it just became one of those things where I was getting really, really frustrated with it. And I decided, you know what? Um, on Patreon, I actually had a milestone that, that once I hit... Um, like a certain number that I would get, I would go ahead and get a, do a PC upgrade. And the idea was I would use that PC upgrade to bring you guys videos at a, at a higher resolution. Well, I'm already at 1080p. I've always been at 1080p. I know some of you guys prefer that because some of you guys actually have told me that you would like watching my episodes on like a big screen TV. And so 1080p actually comes in kind of handy for that. Um, but part of the thing was that I, I might try out doing 60 frames per second. Now, that could be that could be tough doing 1080p and 60 frames per second, but I figured if I got you know 
decent hardware, better, even better hardware, better video card at least, that I might be able to pull that off. And so when I combined kind of the situation with the driver crashing and the fact that I met that milestone on, on Patreon, did I grab? Of course I didn't grab enough ice. <laughs> why did I just grab one stack? Oh, this is why I don't do this stuff on camera usually. Um, yeah, when I combined those two things were happening, I decided, you know what? It's time. I'm going to go ahead and just bite the bullet, get, get the upgrade taken care of, and, and let's, just, let's just pull the trigger on it. And so that's what I did. I bought, I bought the video card, and at the same time, I wanted to just go ahead and get a new processor, and there's a whole different story behind that. Uh, the processor situation, jeez, I felt like I was going to slide around at the end. Um, the processor situation is kind of strange because I had like this extreme core processor and it was amazing. It was like 3780X, I can't remember. But anyway, it was an amazing processor. It had six cores and, and you know, with the hyper threading, it acted like 12, that kind of thing. And the th problem with it was that it got really hot. I mean, this thing got to be really, really hot when I was recording, when I was rendering. And now I'm in this like little tiny office in my garage and my garage gets hot, and so just, just keeping the office cool is hard enough, but with that processor just kicking in heat, um, I was boiling every time. Okay, I got a ways to go. Oh, please tell me I'm lined up. Oh, I think I'm off a block. All right, I'll move the portal. <laughs> oh, yeah, every time, you know, I, I would uh, have to turn, like, my air conditioning off to record or something like that, the room would heat up so bad I'd be, like, sweating by the end of the recording. So I decided that I would get a, a different processor, and uh, I was given some advice by, by some viewers that said, you know, hey, this processor that I've got now, which is the 4790K, is actually, it runs cooler. It runs a lot cooler. It's kind of a downgrade, to be honest, but it runs a lot cooler, which means I don't have a space heater under my desk, which is really nice. Okay, no, I'm good. I'm good. Whew, for some reason, it looked like I was off. And so I went ahead and took care of that. I got a new motherboard for that. It's like uh, I got the this guide next to me. It's a giga, gigabyte uh, G1 or gaming G1 motherboard. Nice motherboard. It's it's decent. Um, it's still kind of a downgrade from what I had before. But uh, anyway, so yeah, I mean, I got I got upgrades all around, and then I decided I'm gonna try to do the 60 frames per second deal. And for some reason, I. I don't know what it was. I, I thought maybe that DX Story was part of the reason my game was crashing. So I tried a new recording software called Action. And I tried this two two videos ago. And my audio just got really weird. I recorded a whole episode for some reason without noticing how bad the audio was. And, uh, and yeah, it was, it was really bad. So I decided, you know what, I, I can't do that. I can't do that. I want decent audio again. Went back to DX Story. And just dealt with it again. My game was, even on the new computer, the game was crashing on me over and over again. And even though I was trying different drivers and things, it was still happening. And finally, during, during one live stream, one of the viewers named 2Cubed uh, had, had me pull up my settings, my video settings. And, and uh, we were looking at it. Hopefully I don't get shot by a ghast here. And right here, this, where is it? Use VBOs. It, this use VBOs down here was turned off. And he said, you know, you should, you should turn that on. That's actually going to, oh, get out of my way. Get out of my way. I'm trying to do stuff. Jeez. <laughs> These guys don't want me to, it's like, hello, new path. I want to try it. Thank you. <laughs> so, yeah, as soon as I turned that VBOs on, it, it stopped crashing. Uh, I literally hadn't had a single crash until, until the live stream last night. Um, and with the live stream, I had a lot going on. <laughs> I was... I was basically recording through DX Story, streaming through OBS. I mean, just a ton of stuff going on at the same time. And then I went into Hermit Hills, which for some reason all my crashes always happen in Hermit Hills, which is very strange. Um, but anyway, um, that was the first time I did crash. So I, I think I'm still good. I think I was just kind of trying to do too much or something. But yeah, yeah, uh, the, the 980s, nice. I really like it. And, and uh, my computer doesn't get as hot anymore. So anyway, some of you guys had been noticing that I had some different computer parts and, and were curious why my audio was so off, you know, it was different the last uh, or episode before last. And so I wanted to kind of tell you guys, uh, you know, about that. Um, so anyway, I'm going to keep, keep going here to the end and then I'll, I'll be right back. All right, so I laid down a little bit more here. I did kind of a pattern here. Because this is leading to the tree farm, I have this brown. It's supposed to kind of represent the trunk of a tree and then just three green to kind of represent the top. Uh, it's okay. I think it'll look better when it's done. 
but uh, I don't mind. Just needed a little bit of a pattern here, and I wanted something to kind of emulate uh, the colors that represent where you're going. Uh, so that's what I came up with. You know, it, it is what it is. It's, it's, it's not the greatest, but it'll, it'll do for sure. Um, but what we're going to do, you probably could tell what we're going to do. Oh, geez. Really? Come on. <laughs> no, you keep those things away from me. Go back to where you came from. <laughs> there we go. Um, you can see, I'm going to basically, I saw this over here when I was walking through here. And uh, whoever did this, I'm not sure who it was. Might have been Azuma, might have been XB. I don't, I don't, I don't know. But I kind of like it um, because you have the availability over here to ride a minecart if you want. Or you can do the whole sprint jump on the trapdoor thing. And so I thought, that's a good idea. I'm going to go ahead and just kind of steal that design and do the same thing over here. So I just need to, uh, in order to lay down the trap doors here, the iron trap doors, you got to have some sort of block to put it against. I can't just put it right there, which is kind of unfortunate, but um, let's see. Is it even gonna... Okay, there, I was just standing in the block. So that's kind of what I have to do. I need to lay the half slabs kind of all the way down. Oops. And try to not do what I just did. And uh, while I'm doing that, again, guys, I, I know this episode is way different than my usual episodes. I'm kind of doing a lot more talky. And and uh, part of it is that I, I just been kind of building this list of stuff I wanted to talk to you guys about. And another part is because, like I mentioned before, I'm kind of on a, on a time crunch here to, to get things completed before I go to go to, I'm going to Las Vegas. I don't know if I mentioned that. I'm actually going to Las Vegas uh, for the business trip. I'm really excited about that. Um, it's it's going to be work. I actually have to work, but at night, you know, I may I may hang out. I may check out Vegas. I've been to Vegas a few times, so it's no, no big crazy thing for me. I'm not one of those Vegas type of people anyway, you know, like a gambler or into the nightlife, you know, that kind of thing. I'll let you guys figure out what I'm talking about there. But I'm not one of those people. I don't really get into that. So honestly, I mean, not to be like a shut-in or anything, but I could end up just in the hotel room at night just enjoying peace and quiet because, you know, my my life is is go, go, go with family and, and work and YouTube and everything. And so to actually have a chance to just kind of relax and chill, I might, I might take it. <laughs> Vegas or not, I might take it. So yeah, you call me a nerd or whatever you want, but uh, that actually sounds good to me. <laughs> uh, but anyway, yeah, so uh, that's going to be going on. And I wanted to tell you guys, because I keep forgetting to announce this, and you guys have probably seen it by now in other Hermits videos, but the Hermits are doing something really cool. And it's not for a while. It's the 9th and 10th of May. We're doing a live stream. And I'm hoping to make some or part of that. I, I know I can't make the whole weekend. I got, you know, family events going on usually on the weekend. But I'm going to definitely try to make that. So check that out. It's going to be really cool. Getting, we're getting lots of giveaways, key codes for games and stuff we're trying to get. So we can do giveaways during the stream. Uh, a lot of different people streaming a lot of different things. So there should be something for everybody. So I'll put some information up on the screen right now. So you can kind of see what that's going to look like like. Um, and if it goes away too fast and you didn't catch it, go to hermitcraft.com. There's a link on the top that will take you to more information about that. And so you guys can make sure you to come check out that stream. Um, also, we've got a uh, Hermitcraft Twitch channel. And, and so it's like, uh, I'll have to put that information up on the screen. I don't know off the top of my head. But we have a Twitch channel where um, we're, we're all becoming team members of it. And so you can kind of go to that Twitch channel and see who's streaming uh, and when. So it's, it's pretty cool. Uh, I'll put the link in the description for that and also on screen because I, I don't exactly remember the, the name of the uh, channel itself, but I've uh, been wanting to tell you guys about that. I'm, I'm signed up to be a team member on that, so when I do stream, it should pop up there as well. Uh, so that's pretty cool. And yeah, I didn't get a chance to do any of the stream highlights from, from last night. Although I can tell you, and, and by last night, I mean this is the I'm recording on a Friday. This probably isn't going to go out to like Wednesday because I'm so, <laughs> I'm recording ahead of time. Um, but yeah, last week I guess it'd be for you guys. <laughs> so confusing. Uh, we we did some cool things on the stream. I just didn't have a chance to put together a highlight reel. Um, so maybe when I get back, I'll try to. By then, it's going to be so far in the past. I'm not sure if you guys are going to care. But we did do uh, a little tiny little prank, I guess you would call it, on False Symmetry. She had this ice cream truck in Hermit Thrills and there was like a sign on it that said that it was out of ice cream and we we're kind of looking at that going what the heck you know like what is with this ice cream truck and yet there's no ice cream and so as kind of park security we decided to uh, basically give her a citation for not having ice cream available to us to use or to have and uh, yeah she 
she, you know, basically the fine was if you don't give us ice cream, you're gonna owe us a diamond. And uh, yeah, check this out. <laughs> um, <laughs> what is going on in here? <laughs> I don't remember leaving this here. <laughs> what is this thing? Oh, this is, this is a very odd looking thing. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Wow. Wait a minute. Is this... Is this an ice cream scoop? I I think it is. I think that's a cherry on top. Oh my gosh. This little glass bowl. Oh, toppings there. The little buttons. Oh my gosh. This is crazy. Oh, there's a ladder. What is that? Let's go in here. What is this? Uh, well, you did ask for ice cream. <laughs> <laughs> but no diamonds, I'm afraid. <laughs> oh, false. <sighs> this is what happens when you prank false symmetry. She comes back and leaves a big scoop of ice cream in the middle of your base. Well, I guess you don't have to pay your fine now, false. No diamonds owed. You paid up. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was a great comeback. Great comeback. That had me cracking up. <laughs> oh, man. The the ice cream looked great. It took me a minute to, to get it because I, I had completely forgotten that we'd even done that little prank. So I, it, it took me a while to understand what was going on there. But uh, that was pretty funny. Once I did get it, I was cracking up. <laughs> so anyway, you can see I got the, tra the uh, tracks lit up now. I just basically went underneath here and put some levers. That, that was kind of a pain. I had to do some scaffolding and stuff. <laughs> oh, but that's all taken care of. And uh, yeah, yeah, we're getting there. We're getting there. I just want to cover this up with glass so that when you're in it, we don't have gas trying to shoot it. I'll need to light the portal. I see that gas hiding in the corner over there. Uh, anymore? Okay. Yeah, I got to light the portal up. And then I also want to make like where it'll eject you here and put the card away, that kind of thing. Um, so I need to figure out something here. I'm gonna do that off camera because I haven't really planned that out, but just wanna get the glass over top here and then, uh, where do we wanna go? We need to go too high, so there, uh, I'll break off. Got my silk touch with me here. So we'll get that back. What else is going on? What else is going on? Been doing a lot of videos today trying to prepare for this, this trip I'm taking. I've been, I've been having to uh, edit some Naked and Scared videos ahead of time. I uh, wanted to ask you guys, because I noticed not, not all of you are watching it, uh, and I understand that, it's, it's a different cup of tea, but I uh, was curious though, because sometimes YouTube sub feeds or sub boxes, whatever you call them, they don't work properly, um, I, I've heard, you know, so I was just wondering, do you guys actually see when I post a Naked and Scared video? Do you see it on your feed? And is it just something that maybe you've checked out one time and just decided um, that's not really the style of, of content you want to watch? Or is it maybe just not even showing up? I mean, if you have no idea what I'm talking about, Naked and Scared, uh, maybe it's something that's just not even showing up on your, your sub feed. I'd be curious to know. Um, if it is showing up and you guys haven't even given it a watch to see if it's something you would like, um, I recommend you do check it out because it, it's it's a good good deal of fun. I have a great time uh, making those episodes with my my in real life buddy Skizzle Man. It's somebody that I've known for 20 years now, so the dynamic between us is is quite different, quite 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 funny at times. And and uh, yeah, there's a lot of good banter back and forth. So if you guys haven't been watching Naked and Scared and didn't even give it a chance, I I, I recommend and I, I kind of ask that please just do that. Please give it a chance. I really do think um, that if you give it a chance and and get to know Skizzle Man, you really enjoy the series. Um, so anyway, uh, check, look for a playlist. I'll put a link to the playlist in the description in case it's not showing up in your sub boxes. But let me know if it's not showing up in your sub boxes. I've, I'd be, I'd be, just, I'm just curious to know. Um, but anyway, got that going on. So that's been taking up a lot of my time. Um, if you haven't noticed, I've actually been putting out way more videos than usual. Um, I, I've been trying to make an effort to put out you know, anywhere between four or five videos a week. It's really, really tough, really, really tough since I have a full-time job on top of just this hobby that I do co creating content here on YouTube and streaming on Twitch. And I mean, just, just keeping, keeping busy. But uh, I've been trying to get four or five episodes out lately. I just wanted to see what kind of impact that would have on the channel. You know, kind of watching views per video, views per day, you know, subscribers per day, that kind of thing. Wanted to see if if posting more content would 
would help the channel or hurt the channel or, or be indifferent. And to be honest, so far, it's pretty much just been indifferent. I mean, here we are back at the, <laughs> the ice cream cone. I had to come back here. Oh, this is funny. You guys are going to, you guys are going to make fun of me in a second here, but uh, yeah, so I, I, it's kind of been indifferent. And what I mean by that is it's been a positive and negative thing at the same time. The, the positive thing is overall, because I'm posting more videos, I'm getting more views per day. The negative thing is, it seems like I'm not getting as many views per video. Um, so, you know, I used to get almost twice as many views on these Hermitcraft episodes as I am getting now that I'm posting more content. And so, uh, I'm just kind of curious about that, you know, is it, is it a matter of I'm just posting too many videos now that you guys can't keep up and maybe even have kind of given up on trying? Or I guess I'm asking the wrong people because the people I'm asking are the people that aren't watching. Um, but the other thing is like creating this, this many videos is is a lot more work, obviously. You know, that's more videos I have to you know, record, edit, render. And uh, it's probably not something I can continue forever. <laughs> uh, I'll get burnt out, to be honest, trying to trying to record that many videos and get get them out to you guys per week on top of, you know, full-time family, full-time job. It's, it's, it's going to be a stretch, but, uh, I wanted to give it a go for at least a few weeks and I've been doing that and, uh, I've been, it has been fun. It's just been, it's been, it's been work, you know, it's, it's, I'm constantly, I feel like I'm constantly, uh, just like every waking moment, either trying to get something, you know, something done, you know, in my, my personal life or at work or, or <laughs> YouTube wise. And so I really haven't taken much time to relax. I guess another reason why I'm kind of looking forward to this Vegas trip but uh, anyway, let me guy let me know what you guys think about more videos because I know in the past people really really asked for oh, I want more videos I want more videos so here I'm bringing more videos and I'm kind of feeling like well not everybody's really on board with with uh, you know keeping up on on watching that many videos per week so anyway let me know let me know how you guys feel about that and uh, I need to get back here I hopefully got enough glass to finish I don't know but let me finish this glass tunnel and I'll be right back. Okay, finally got the bridge all done. And uh, yeah, <laughs> checking back the footage, I noticed that I, I rambled quite a bit this video and so I was running short on time. So I figured let me just finish up this bridge, show you guys the end result. And thank you for putting up with my rambling this episode. But uh, yeah, pretty simple mechanism here. I didn't go crazy with the redstone, kept it simple. You just hit the button, the card will sit there, you get in. You press forward and you go. I, I mean, you, there's really no need to overcomplicate things if you want to ride the minecart here. My head's in glass right now, so this ghast over here is not going to see me. I took a fire resistance potion just in case it decided to drop me off in the wrong part of the bridge here. And oh, look at that. Look at that. Um, that's not going to work out. I, it actually dropped me off in the glass. That's crazy. All right, let's break this. And I guess I'll have to break a few pieces of glass there to get out, which is kind of a bummer. But let me just cap that off like that. That way they still can't see me. I don't think they can see through that little half slab. Let's find out. Do you see me? Do you see me? I don't think he does. All right, so we're going to try to ride that back and make sure that we don't have the similar type of issue on the other side. In fact, maybe this would look better with glass over it. There we go. Now it's now it's full. Um, I didn't remember it ejecting me in there before it ejected me right here, which was strange that it changed its mind there. But let's ride this guy again. Oh, hello. <laughs> Whoa. Oh, I feel like we're just like underwater and these are sea creatures just floating around us or something. Um, oh, yeah, I haven't put the, the mine carts in yet, so i got to be careful. I don't want to throw them right into the cactus. Okay, that'll work. And let's put a couple mine carts in here. I mean, typically people are going to, you know, ride down and then do their thing and then ride back. So the mine carts should stay pretty much even. But I got a couple extras in there just in case. So let's ride back. Let's see if that works okay. Are those gas still around? Yeah, they don't see me. Just the, oh yeah, there's still two of them. And let's see if this one decides to drop me off in a different spot this time. <laughs> should be good though. Should be right here on the, yep, right there. And that's all good. Put the cart back, good to go, and the next person can ride. Or if you, you just want to run it, don't mind using up some, some of your hunger and saturation or whatever, um, then you can just run it all the way down, and boom, you're there really, really quick, which is nice. So, and yeah, yeah, I got to light the portal, and then we'll be done with this thing. And then I will be packing my bags and heading out of town. So, 
Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video, uh, even if it was a little bit different than normal. If you did, please let me know. Please let me know that it's okay to do this every once in a while. Um, if you absolutely hated it and wanted to, you know, I guess if you hated it, you probably left by now. But if you stuck it out and you still hated it, just let me know. Let me know, and I'll, and I'll try to avoid videos like this in the future. Um, but uh, it, it was good to uh, just kind of hang out and have a little chatty chat with you guys. I did have a lot of things I wanted to, to keep you up to date on. So enjoy the chat. And like I said, if you enjoyed the video, hit that like button. And if you're not subscribed, go ahead and make sure you subscribe before you go. And with that said, <laughs> I'm stalling. I will see you guys again next time. Have a good one, everyone. <laughs>